Hi guys, so this is Jaya Rowan and I thought I'd show you my updated Morrigan altar. And here we go. So at the back we have the picture of her and I've decided to keep the skulls that I had on my Sawain altar. There's a black one and a silver one there, and a black one and a silver one down there by her offering pot. I decided to keep them because they're quite cool, I like them. Um, also, that she's the one of the goddesses aspects of death, so it seemed fitting. And these are two are her uh, raven feather altar candles and the triple spiral candle in the middle, which has the raven down the bottom and three pieces of onyx work through. They're all from the Fragrant Temple online. I'll put the link down at the bottom if you're interested in those. I have the two little agates that are representative of spearheads down here. I've decided to put two cauldrons on her altar. This one is a ceramic altar with uh, relevant herbs in that I felt moved to put in them and three crow's feathers. And in this one, which is a wooden one, which I actually got from a charity shop, but I thought it was quite cool with a little broom there as well, is uh, full of mahogany obsidian in sort of representation of her. I think it's a, a good representation of her. We have the black shell that I got from the seaside. Um, she does have a sea and river connection with the offering of two onyx gemstones and one obsidian. The triple moon symbol here. Um, let's put that the right way up, that might help. Because the Morrigan has um, a triple goddess aspect. And over here is an Othiosiris, which I was um, guided to buy by her. And it's actually a fossil, it's a grounding stone, it's good for stress and protection and um, your digestive, ugh, digestive system and all sorts. Um, it has a really calming effect, it's a real steady, sturdy stone. Um, it's also quite spearhead in shape. It feels wonderful to the touch, so that's still there on her altar. And then down here, I've, I've left at the minute uh, one of the little pumpkins that I made at Samhain for her. Um, the necklace that I wear for when I'm honouring her and this is a rock salt candle holder full of uh, rosemary and conkers Let's have a... that's her offering bowl with offerings in but they're private so they will stay in there but it's a soapstone dish if you're interested so <clears throat> and her oils and incenses are uh, down the side but they're private as well so they will stay like that. And my altar is, my main altar, is just like this for the time being. I've put the uh, candle that I made in the middle there. Uh, the pumpkins are still there, the Halloween decks are still there obviously. This is now sort of in the medium stage. Um, in the next few days I'll take the remnants of the Samhain celebrations down slowly and then we start moving on to the Yule decorations so still got my offering here aniseed balls um, were in offering to my my grandma in particular but into my ancestors because this is something I uh, really strongly links me to my grandma with memories and you know how taste and smells can link you to memories of your ancestors the ones that you knew and loved um, well aniseed balls is one of the ones for me and my grandma and then water and salt down there so as you can see it's in the intermediary stage but I mainly wanted just to show you oh that's my um, working candle in there I don't know if I've shown my working candle that's my working candle so yeah I'm quite pleased with it I think it looks quite nice. I, I really want a bigger altar for her at, at some point, although technically it's a shrine, but um, I really would like a bigger one at some point, but uh, I think that's looking quite nifty now. I, I really quite like how that looks. So that's it for today. Many blessings. <laughs>